Thank you for joining us for some United States visa news. H-1B visas are about to become tougher to get, as Trump toughens visa requirements to make it hard for foreigners to work in the US. In this video, we will discuss the new changes coming to H-1B visa programs and why it's going to get harder to obtain. But first, we want to thank you for joining us. Find us on all the other social media channels, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and click that bell, to get notified when we release a new video. We also appreciate, your likes, and comments below, as it helps to support our channel. The administration of US President Donald Trump has sped up attempts to make harder, the process for U.S. companies to hire skilled foreign workers, before the end of the year, and amidst the presidential elections. The Trump administration has released H-1B regulatory changes, making it more difficult for professional foreign workers to obtain work visas in the U.S. As previously reported, the rules immediately increase minimum wage requirements that U.S. employers must pay foreign workers for both H-1B work visas and green cards. The increase in wage requirements is to demonstrate that foreign workers will not displace Americans in the same occupation and geographic area. The new rules also restrict the types of jobs eligible under the visa program by narrowing the definition of speciality occupation. The two proposals are named, strengthening wage protections for the temporary and permanent employment of certain aliens in the United States, by the Department of Labor. And the long-speculated interim final rule, strengthening the H-1B non-immigrant visa classification program, published by the Department for Homeland Security, on October 8, 2020. Both of these rules aim to reduce the number of H-1B work visas issued to migrants each year, with the aim to preserve jobs for American workers amid high unemployment, and the new rules will be politically difficult to reverse. However, it is widely documented that these changes will have a damaging effect on the US economy, as it will lose its competitive advantage and lose highly skilled workers to other countries, like Canada. Moreover, studies have also shown that immigrant workers and immigrant entrepreneurs actually create millions of jobs for U.S. workers each year. Each year, there are 85,000 H-1B work visas available to migrants to work in a U.S. company in a speciality occupation with bachelor's degrees and above in a specific field. Outsourcing companies usually make up the bulk of the H-1B program's top users, and most workers approved for the visas come from India. During Trump's tenure in the Oval Office, since 2017, the denial rate for H-1B visas has more than doubled, with almost every application receiving a request for evidence and requiring extensive documentation to demonstrate eligibility. H-1B visas are increasingly being denied on the premise that, if a position offered does not require a specific bachelor's degree field, as determined by the Department of Labor's Occupational Outlook Handbook, then the occupation does not qualify as a speciality occupation that merits an H-1B work visa. Accordingly, under the new rule, a petitioner must establish that a bachelor's degree in a specific speciality, or its equivalent, is a minimum requirement for entry into the occupation in the United States, by showing that. This is always the requirement for the occupation as a whole. Always the occupational requirement within the relevant industry. Always the petitioner's particularized requirement, or because the position is always so complicated, specialized, complex, or unique, that it is necessarily required to perform the duties of this specific position. The new rules also limit the validity of H-1B visas at third-party work sites to one year for workers employed by staffing companies. Click the link below to read more about the impacts of the new rules on applications. These measures, along with regulations clamping down on visas for international students and journalists, are expected to be some of Trump's final immigration moves before the election in two weeks' time. 
The new rule will become effective on December 7, 2020, 60 days following its publication date in the Federal Register. Usually, DHS would be subject to standard notice and comment rulemaking procedures, which requires a period of public commentary on a rule before its implementation. But the DHS has justified bypassing this period of notice by arguing that such procedures would defeat the purpose of the rule, which is to provide immediate protection to US workers amid the coronavirus pandemic. It is thought that multiple lawsuits will be filed to stop the new rules from coming into effect. Politically, if Joe Biden wins, the rules also face possible reversal. But it is thought that these policies will have popular support, making it hard for it to be rolled back. Stephen Miller, White House advisor has stated, there's going to be no market for someone to drive back down wages on H-1B visas to displace American workers. Labor Secretary, Eugene Scalia has also stated that, there's been concern for a long time, that the wages at which H-1B workers are allowed to be brought into the country, are too low, and are undercutting US workers' wages. That's never acceptable, but totally intolerable when you've got millions of Americans still out of work, because of the pandemic. What are your thoughts on the new rules making H-1B visas harder to issue? If you are a person that has been particularly affected by it, we will love to hear from you. Comment below. I am can help with your visa application to the United States, the UK, and other countries. If you need help with a US visa, a UK visa, or a visa to Europe, including help with appointment booking obligations, I am can help. Reach out to your visa coordinator for any assistance. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for more travel and visa updates.